What is it? What is it? A bird's nest. Well, some kind of nest in the air filter. He must have come in through the hole right here. A rat or something? A rat or a, looks like a bird or something. Hmm. Come in through there and shoot up the air filter. How much oil are we? I don't know. Where's the oil? Yep. Maybe that's why it was skipping. And despite her desire to keep her cover, despite her fears that she would get sick and lose the home that her parents built, she finally surrendered. She finally gave up her health insurance. She stopped paying. She couldn't make ends meet. So January was her last month of being insured. Like so many responsible Americans, folks who work hard every day, who try to do the right thing, she was forced to hang her fortunes on chance. Just to, to take a chance, that's all she could do. She hoped against hope that she would stay healthy. She feared terribly that she might not stay healthy. That was the letter that I read to the insurance companies, including the person responsible for raising her rates. Now, I understand that Tomo was pretty surprised when she found out that I'd read it to the CEO. But I thought it was important for them to understand the human dimensions of this problem. And there you have President her Obama rates have been hiked. addressing about her health insurance after the situation you heard the president outline there. Uh, and, and the president saying that he shared her story, her letter that she wrote to him. I'm here because of the countless others who have been forced to face the most terrifying challenges in their lives with the added burden of medical bills they can't pay. I don't think that's right. Neither do you. That's why we need health insurance right now. Health insurance reform right now. Because of my own mother's story. <laughs> she died of cancer. And in the last six months of her life, she you was pulled the plug on her. Arguing with insurance companies <laughs> instead of focusing on getting well and spending time with her family. I'm here because of the millions who are denied coverage because of pre existing conditions or drop from coverage when they get sick. I'm here because of the small businesses who are forced to choose between health care and hiring. I'm here because of the seniors unable to afford the prescriptions that they need. I'm here because of folks seeing their premiums go up 20 and 30 and 40 and 50 and 60 percent in a year. here because that is not the America I believe in. That's not the America that you believe in. So, so when you hear people say, start over, I want you to think about the talk. When you hear people saying that this isn't the right time, you think about what she's going through. When you hear people talk about it, well, what does this mean for the Democrats? What does this mean for the Republicans? I don't know how the polls are doing. When you hear people who are more worried about the politics of it than what's right and what's wrong, I want you to think about the coma and the millions of people all across this country who are looking for some help and looking for some relief. That's why we need health insurance reform right now. So all you people who don't have health insurance, your premium is going to go up 100%. You know, <clears throat> you know, part of what makes this issue difficult is most of us do have health insurance. They st we still do. And so, and, and so we kind of you know, feel like, well, I don't know, hold on. I I'm talking about there's somebody who might have fainted right now here. So, so if we can get uh, a medic just back here. They're probably okay. Just give her... Or him. Where are you going to find a medic? We're in America. There is no health care. How are they going to get a medic? 
so 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 let's let, let's just th think about think about if you lost your job right give the government or insurance companies more control over health care in america i believe it's time to give you the american people more control over your own health insurance yeah by having the government own it like aig And that's what our proposal does. Our proposal builds on the current system where most Americans get their health insurance from their employer. I don't want to interfere with people's relationships between them and their doctors. Essentially, here's what my proposal would change. Three things about the current health care system, but three important things. Number one, it would end the worst practices of the insurance company. All right. This, this is like a patient's bill of rights on steroids. You will be able to stay on your parents' policy until you're 26 years old under this law. Uninsured individuals, small businesses, they'd have the same kind of choice of private health insurance that members of Congress get for themselves. How'd that work out for Teddy Kennedy? And Merca. I understand if this reform becomes law, members of Congress, they'll be getting their insurance from the same place that the uninsured get there. Because if it's good enough for the American people, it's good enough for the people who send us to Washington. So basically what would happen is we'd set up a pool of people, millions of people across the country would all buy into these pools that give them more negotiating power. There goes the word buy in again, the Republican word. You got to buy, buy. Hear that, America? Buy into. Forced to buy into. By this crook, Barack, insane Obama. was the sun for a second there. We've got a front blowing in. Looks like fog coming this way. <laughs> 